Okay, there I have a Birch Box and Ipsy for October. I got them within a one day time period, so I thought I was perfect to do a Birch Box vs. Ipsy. I'm starting to like doing them all at once instead of separately. Let me know in the comments if you like that. If you don't, either way, I can do them. I mean, it doesn't really bother me doing them separate versus together. It just seems easier when they're together. So let's go ahead and do the Ipsy first. Normally I start with Birch Box, but I think we should mix it up a little bit. It's very lightweight and flat. P.S. Background's different. My room's being painted right now. The painter is not like a professional painter, so it's just him doing it. And he decided to start my room and then not do anything with it for... Um, a week time period, so I haven't had anything in my room this entire week. I don't have curtains, nothing, so I don't know when I'm going to be getting it back. Just depends if he actually shows up when he says he's going to because that's always a toss-up as well. Enough of me complaining about that. It's just a room. I kind of did a ghetto rig background. It could change. We'll see. Gold on one side, black on the other. It still feels really small. Let's find out. We'll go ahead and dig in. The first thing is by The Bomb. It's Mary Luminizer and it's a little sample. I love this stuff. I have, I think, two of them now. Or at least a few of these samples. It's amazing. I suggest it. So extremely shimmery and gorgeous. But it's like very fine shimmer. It's not chunky glitter or anything. I like that. And then just a black pencil eyeliner from Coastal Scents. Not a huge fan of the company. I'm not a huge fan of pencil eyeliners either. I just, I like the gel ones better or the retractable ones. It feels less tuggish on my eyes. So I will probably just pass that along to someone. Next we have something by Tarte and it says Energy. It's a lip surgeon's. A lip gloss. I didn't know they had Lip Surgeon's lip glosses. I'm assuming Energy's the color. It's a really pretty pink. I'm excited. I love Tarte and I love Lip Surgeon's the pencil, so I think I'll probably like that too. And then by ours, there's a hand cream and it is in a lemongrass and patchouli. I don't know how to say that word. The little bottle is cute. Let's smell it though and see what it smells like. Not the best smelling lotion I've ever seen, but the packaging is adorable and it's a really good size to throw in your purse. And then lastly, we have a Nourish Organic Argon Face Serum, Apricot, Apricot and Rose Hip, and it's for normal to dry skin. My skin has been so extremely dry. I broke out really bad from a lot of stress from what was going on previously, which if you haven't seen my updated life video, I will link it down below. But yes, my skin has been just crazy zone, so I have been using so much stuff on my face to try, like moisturizing wise and then masks. And why is that burning? I have the lemongrass lotion on my hand and it is burning me right now. I must be like allergic to something in it that it's not feel good. I am for sure gonna be tossing that. Anywho, uh, I had the Nourish Organics eye cream and I liked it and I used it all up. The sample, I know we got it in an Ipsy before, so I'll use this. Like I said, my face has been dry and anything to try to help that it should be good. But I think I'm finally getting it under control. And then on to Birch Box, I did not, actually I did, I picked one of the samples. I did the Benefit Roller Ball Mascara because I've had that before and I really liked it and I ran out because it dried out and it was over the three month period which I don't necessarily always stick to that but I use one mascara at a time and normally by the three month mark it's done anyway so that's what I picked for it and this is what the box looks like it's pink it has a wood look to it that's actually cute their boxes have been so adorable and then I'm not gonna read that pink tissue paper and inside, this is what it looks like. We'll just start pulling stuff out. The first thing is by, oh, it's a big size, Caudalie. And it is a micellar, micellar, blah, blah, cleansing water. Organic grape water and chamomile. Huh. It's like fully packed in here. It's not normal like the Caudalie ones. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I know last month I got something from them and there's like barely anything in it, but this one is 
so full and I really like this brand I think it's very like good for sensitive skin so I read and it is a makeup remover but I guess that makes sense because it's a cleansing water I've never used that before I'm excited and then there's a little bonus by the same brand and it is a mask an instant detox mask which deeply cleanses and minimizes pores so just a little extra and then by 12 benefits and I believe I got this in a boxycharm before this is the instant healthy hair treatment so from what I remember last time it does like a ton of good things for your hair so and I use after shower mist leave-in conditioners I don't know why that wasn't coming to me but I use them on like from here down on my end so I actually have a ton of products in the lineup right now but I will go ahead and put that in there too or give it away to a friend so I do believe that I already have that in a full size and then of course the ruler ball this is the benefit ruler lash I don't know why I always call it ruler ball it's called the ruler lash mascara sample size pretty good I'm gonna use it um yeah I kind of like the packaging's different from the main one because on the other one it's like a plastic and this is more of a metal looking a little fancier and lastly there's maybe one to two things in here so we have a clean by white or what it's white woods by clean I've had clean before I think mine was fresh cotton or cotton I don't know it smelled really good and I actually don't know what white woods smells like I'll probably actually use this this week because I don't know where any of my perfumes are I don't know where they got packed off to because everything in my room, like I said, is gone. Um, moved. I didn't get rid of it. So I will for sure be using this. I'm just gonna lay that out there now so I don't forget it. And the very last thing is this Pearl Bay Invasion. And it is a shimmering base or highlighter. Oops, I put way too much on my hand right there. Oh god, so much. Yes. Let's rub that in for about five minutes. It's really pretty, actually. Hmm. And actually, that wouldn't be bad to add to my foundation right now with my skin being drier to kind of add some luminosity to it. Not a bad idea. So that was my Birchbox and Ipsy. I'm kind of underwhelmed with it this month on both parts of it, but I do have a favorite in both the boxes, which is good. Favorite for Ipsy is the lip gloss, and favorite for mascara, or favorite for Birchbox is the mascara. Let me know what you got in your Ipsy and Birchbox, which one you thought was the best that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and say Birchbox. Other than that, I have nothing left to tell you, and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!